Hi, it's Taylor and welcome to Tay TV. For today's class, we're gonna take it low to the flow and then stay there. <laughs> it's floor yoga today. So that means we're gonna be kneeling, laying, uh, but never standing. So today's class is perfect if you have the energy of a sloth, uh, you really don't feel like moving much and plan on taking a nap after class like I do. So it's gonna be great. When you're ready, roll out your mat and let's begin. All right, so let's start laying on our bellies for class today. So laying down, face down on your mat. Bring the chin to the earth, and then bring the arms back by your side, palms up to the sky. Reaching the toes nice and long. And then we'll bring the wrists back behind you on your tailbone, holding onto the wrists, and sliding the thumbs down as you start to roll the shoulders up and back. Okay, take a deep inhale, lifting and lengthening through the top of the head. And as you exhale, peeling the shoulders up, rising up. Keep reaching back with the toes, back with the thumbs. Keep breathing too. Breathing and lifting, opening up that front body. And then releasing it all down. Coming onto that right cheek, face cheek, and allowing the arms to fall apart, palms facing up, rocking the hips side to side. We'll do that one more time. Bringing the chin back, forward, arms back behind you, intertwining the palms, sliding the thumbs down your spine, the tail, um, down the length of your tailbone. Again, take a deep inhale, reaching through the top of the head and the toes. Exhale, peeling up the shoulders, the chin, the chest. Keep breathing. Keep reaching through the toes, reaching back through the thumbs and the knuckles. Keep lifting. And then release it all down. Coming onto the left cheek this time. Relaxing the arms, shift the hips side to side. And then bringing the chin back to the earth, bring the arms out to a T, palms facing down, and make sure the fingers are in line with the shoulders, so your arms, your body makes this T shape, right? Placing that right palm down on the earth, bring the left uh, palm underneath the left shoulder, and then start to roll, opening, uh, roll onto the right side body, feeling the opening in that right shoulder. So working to stack the shoulders and the hips, and maybe you stay here. Keep that right palm on the ground. We're not moving that right arm. Maybe this feels good. Or you can take that left leg, lift it, bending the knee, place that left foot behind the right leg. And maybe you take the left arm, reaching it up and back. Just a deeper version of this. Taking one more full breath. Bringing that left arm back in front of you, straightening the left leg, slowly rolling back onto your belly. We'll do the other side. So lifting that left arm, nice and long, palm facing down, right hand under the right shoulder, rolling onto the left side body this time. Shoulders stacked, hips stacked. Again, you can stay here, maybe lifting that right leg up, bending the knee, placing the foot behind the left leg. And if it feels good, stay here, or you can lift that right arm up, bringing it back behind you. Taking two more breaths. bringing that right hand forward again, the right leg lengthen, coming back onto your belly. Taking your time, rolling onto your backside this time, so flipping over. And we're kind of coming to bridge, so feet are planted on the earth, knees up to the sky, bring the arms by your side, palms facing down. Feet or hips distance, pulling the navel in, get the lower back down on the earth. 
and then start to press into the heels, lifting, rising, reaching the hips up to the sky. Keeping the legs hips distance apart, keep pressing the knees in, keep lifting the heels, or lifting the hips. <laughs> Breathing here, take one more inhale, lift the hips, and then exhale, lowering it all the way down to the earth. Bring the feet mats distance apart, rock it side to side, rock the knees side to side. We'll do that one more time. So bring the feet to the earth. Again, hips distance apart, knees to the sky, palms facing down by your side body. Pulling the navel in, pressing the lower back into the earth, pressing into the heels as you start to rise up, lifting the hips one vertebrae at a time. Keep lifting, keep reaching. Keep pressing into the heels. Keep breathing, filling the lungs with breath. And then slowly lowering the hips all the way down. Again, feet mats distance apart, rocking the knees side to side. Coming to modified half pigeon here. So feet planted, knees to the sky once again. Take that right leg, reaching it up, bring the ankle outside that left thigh. Flexing the right ankle, bringing the arms behind that left thigh, pulling the legs in. So you're engaging the arms as you pull the legs into your chest, but relaxing the shoulders. We don't want to squeeze them up by the shoulders, so, or by the ears, so keep them relaxed. Taking one more full breath. And then release that leg, switching sides, left leg up and over. Again, outside that right thigh, uh, flexing the foot, reach behind the right leg, hugging the legs into your chest. Feeling the spine resting on the earth as you breathe. Taking one more full breath here. Now release in the legs, hug the knees into your chest, taking your time, rolling up to a seated position, and then we'll come even forward, forward even more, coming onto all fours. So palms under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Take that right leg, straightening the leg, flip the right toes, and just start rocking forward and back. Feeling the stretch in the calf, maybe rolling over the ankle too, just to gently, just to stretch the front foot out, um, stretch the front of the foot out too. And reaching back through the right heel, lengthening through the top of the head, slide the right foot out to the left, outside the mat even. As you inhale, press through the heel all the way through the top of the head. Exhale, lean over that left shoulder. So feeling the stretch on this right side body. Inhale, deep breath, and exhale, release. Bring the leg back to center, switching sides. Straighten the left leg, flip the toes, rocking forward and back. Again, maybe rolling that ankle over gently, just to stretch the front of the foot too. And again, pressing through the heel, lengthening through the top of the head. Then exhale, bringing that foot over to the right side, outside the mat. Reaching through the left heel, lengthening through the top of the head. Exhale, looking over that right shoulder. Take a deep breath, filling that left side body. <sighs> And come back to center. Palms under shoulders, knees under hips. Take that right arm so it's parallel to the earth. And then reaching it up towards the sky, lengthening through the fingers. And then weaving that left arm under the, uh, the right arm under the left arm, coming onto that right shoulder. 
If this feels good, keep breathing. Or you can take that left arm forward, nice and long in front of you. As you breathe, really feeling the lungs. Feeling the back of the lungs, the side of the lungs especially. See how this twist changes the breath for you. And just notice it. Take in one more full breath. And rising back up onto all fours. We'll switch sides, take the left arm out to the side, reaching it up to the sky, lengthening through the fingers, and then weaving that arm under the right arm, coming onto the left shoulder. Again, staying here if this feels good, or walking the right hand out in front of you, really lengthening it out. Again, take a deep breath, filling the lungs. few more breaths. Breathing so deep that you're expanding the lungs to press into the ribs, opening up the chest. And coming back to center. Rising back up to all fours and sitting the hips back, coming into hero's pose just for a breath or two. Placing the left hand on your heart and the right hand on your belly. Roll the shoulders up and back. Close the eyes. Breathing here, feeling the chest and the belly rise and expand with each breath. And on the exhale, feeling them lower. One more time. And then releasing the arms, coming to a seated position with the legs out in front of you, straightening the legs. Remove the flesh from the sits bones, flexing through the legs and the feet. Inhale, reaching, lifting up from the ribs. Exhale, hinging at the hips, forward fold. Again, as you inhale, lengthening through the top of the head, exhale, hinging at the hips, folding a little deeper. Taking one more big breath. Releasing the legs, bring the soles of the feet together, coming to butterfly. Grab the outsides of the feet, rotate the pelvis forward. Sitting a little taller on the sits bones. Inhale, reaching with the top of the head. Exhale, bend the elbows, bringing the chest towards the feet. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, folding. Remembering to breathe. And releasing the feet, sitting up, keeping the legs in butterfly. Uh, we're going to roll down, coming into this supine bound angle uh, shavasana variation. So keeping the feet together, rolling down on your back. You can place your left hand on your chest, right hand on your belly. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. We'll stay here for about a minute and then I'll wake us up to finish class together. Allow yourself this time to rest, to lay, to breathe, and just enjoy some stillness.
slowly start to lengthen the legs, reaching the arms up overhead, stretching from your fingertips to the tips of your toes. Take your time rolling onto your right side body and then coming up to a nice seated position on your mat. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. Inhale, reaching up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. I always close practice with a moment of gratitude. So think of one thing you're grateful for right now and hold it in your heart. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. Great job, my friend. I hope you found today's class to be relaxing um, and help you release some stress in your body so that maybe you can get back to that nap you were, uh, I was talking about earlier. <laughs> That's where I'm going next. So if you had any questions about class today or your practice in general, you can leave a comment down below this video uh, or stop on over to taylorpayman.com and leave a comment there as well. Now, if you stop on my website, make sure you subscribe to my weekly newsletter and sign up to be a Tay TV Insider. When you do, you'll receive instant access to a video I've created all about helping you to uh, live a more present life. Plus, you'll get access to exclusive content and personal insights that I only share uh, via email. So you wanna check that out for sure. Thank you for practicing with me today. I am so grateful you joined me. Give yourself some love for practicing today, and I'll see you next time on Tay TV.